going on, everybody? It's your boy Rockman 3K3 back again for another great, wonderful episode of the Nerd Plate. Of course, uh, C Real, aka the Lot Saiyan, uh, cannot be with us right now because he is on a journey of raising the new Saiyan that came into his life. So, congratulations to him. Uh, but while he's away, I'm doing some great interviews and I got some wonderful people that showed up for us. Uh, really talented people that said, hey, we can come by and just take the place of Chris while he's gone. Not even take the place, just, you know, come in and help me out a little bit. And uh, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't have this next person on. Uh, good friends. We've been knowing each other since college. Uh, cool guy. Very creative guy. You've seen some of his work. If you're out here in, in the land of Bama, you've seen some of his work at Pepper Place. Uh, you've seen some of his work online. Great guy, man. He makes all kinds of cool 90s art, geek art, pop art. You've seen him make the best lampshades you're ever going to get in your life, best lamps. You've seen him make rugs. Yes, actual rugs that are just amazing, which I'm going to ask him about later. Give it up for my good friend and awesome artist friend, Mr. Henry, a.k.a. Henry's Art Corner Business. Mr. Henry, welcome to the show, sir. I uh, appreciate that. <laughs> that, was, that was a heck of a uh, <laughs> introduction, my boy. Man, man, I had to, I had to, man, I had to, I had to match your talents up here, man. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> so, how you doing, bro, man? What, what's been going on? Before we start, of course, tell people where they can see your art, where they can buy your stuff. You know, what I'm saying support you, all kinds of stuff. Let people know where you at. All right. So right now. I'm doing an uh, Etsy shop. It had um, it's at Henry. If you go on to Henry's Art Corner, uh, you should be able to find it there. Um, most of the stuff is on Facebook. You can look up my, uh, under my name, Clifford Brown, or it's, I think I put, changed it to Henry Brown. You can uh, see it under that. Uh, and that's it for right now. I'm working on trying to do a website sooner than later. Uh, just just trying to knock out a lot of artwork. That's pretty much what I'm working on, though. I feel you, man. You've been busy out here, bro. Like, the yeah. art, man, it's been, like, crazy. I've been like, yo, that's insane, man. Man, like, it's just, oh, the only thing about it is it's just hard trying to be consistent and mm -hmm. and working and, you know what I'm saying, you working, you got a girl, you got to do all this stuff. So it's, it's, it's we you know, almost know, this, bro. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, oh, you gotta put on, yeah, you got to put on the cape and just be everybody at one point. Dog. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's it, man. That's it. We're going to get into it. Before we get into it, I want to tell everybody how we met, man. We met in college. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Went, through, went through the same bullshit Odyssey Tech. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The <laughs> same. Tech. The same. <laughs> if, if you went to IT Tech, ITT, and you're on here listening, I feel for you, my boy, <laughs> or my or my girl. It, it, we gonna make um, it. We all we gonna make it. We almost out of there. I know I got some of my my stuff taken care of. I'm waiting on this big, the biggest portion to get done, and mm -hmm. hey, we'll be we'll be back on you know out and popping. But right now, you you holding on. Man, just keep just holding like, on. Look, look for dear life. Like, oh, we almost <laughs> there. Oh, it's almost Friday, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible oh, boy. Man. I'm telling you, man, that is the worst. That's I. I hate to say I have a wor worst decision in life, but that was one of my worst decisions in life. I mean, and, 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 uh, and I, you know, same. I think the only good thing that came out of it, and you know, me and Jimbo talk about that a lot of times. Shout out to him. Uh, mm. <laughs> Jimbo's out here. He's streaming now. Um, okay. But me and him and a lot of people talk about it, the only good thing man, is just me and y'all. That that was yeah, it. Yeah, that's pretty you know, much it. Like. Look, you know, man, when you're, going, bro, when you're going to school and they tell you to look at YouTube for a class, bro, that's when you know you're we, you're in the look, wrong look, look, in the wrong position. Look, we should know so when they have a real library, we should know something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no real look, I, I, look, I was already questioning it when they was talking about, okay, when you get your financial aid and stuff, you're going to pay for books, <laughs> and then they don't even give you the rest of the money back, dog. I already was kind of like, well, where, Yo, where, 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 where's my money at? My, my man, we can't, even, we can't even take the books back to a bookstore to get them. They're like, oh, those were IT Tech. Now you throw them in the trash. We don't take those. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Dude, 
Look, I was trying to leave and go somewhere else. I was thinking about doing drafting and going, man, they talking about you have to start back over as a freshman, my boy. I was no, like, uh, I just went through four years. <laughs> you think I'm going to try to go back for that? They, they said, oh, you would not see that. You think you went through years. That's so cute. you like, you like, come on, Jesus. Jesus. Come on what? Like, man, look here. I've been doing all this shit. And you mean to tell me this, this, you mean to tell me that this ain't even a credit? I can't even get, I can't even, my, my, my degree ain't even worth the paper is on. I could just, just explain that much. My, my God, we, we go into interviews. They just like, oh, thank you for coming. Yeah, real. Oh, you, 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 you can just turn around and walk away. Like, yeah, ah. like, are you serious, man? I did all that work with all with you know trying to do the good thing and go to school and all that. And you mean tell me I got just straight fucked out of all my man, I, man, you everything. We, you we, exactly. we wasted four years of school, brother. And we went, you know, we were working. Full time jobs. Bro, I had two jobs, dog. <laughs> right. I had two jobs. I used to come in there, man. We were tired as fuck, bro. We just, man, I remember I went to sleep in front of the teacher and didn't give a damn what you said. I wouldn't care what you said. My oh, man, it was crazy, bro. So, man, yeah. I could, I was like, you can't, you don't know what we're, you know, going through at this point. Man. But, man. This, it is what it is. Hey, I, I, I got I, I got some type of learning because I had to learn myself by going. That's to it. That's <laughs> it. That's For it. real, that was the University of Determination and self learning. Because what man. you talking about? Because if that if you didn't do nothing else, that's how you did was self learning, bro. Like, all right, so how'd you do? I right, I went in. Okay, so you go. To this guy he teach y'all. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. man, that, that's yeah. it. That's it. Still, it was like maybe four or five teachers. Uh, the whole thirty something teachers that, yeah, that would and actually you, teach, right? You know what I'm saying? The rest <laughs> of them just like, ah, you, I'm you just here. It. Yeah, here's some like, projections. I, I mean, you already knew college was already like, well, we don't care if you come to class and stuff, but shoot, they, they took it <laughs> they to really, the next level. They, they were just you like, know, yo, we got your little hundred to two hundred thousand, regardless if you come or not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Regardless, you show up. The fuck? So. Oh, then, then, hey, then to make, then to make it so bad, you you followed the school. You went, you went to get your, uh, yeah. <laughs> you get your associates over on two eighty, and then you you follow on the best one to get your bachelor's, and then to go through all that, <laughs> and not, <laughs> not make it. Oh, oh man, yeah, yeah. Oh, but I had to open with that, my boy. I had to, man. Just let them know the struggle. Let them know we. Yeah, out. That, you you don't know the struggle, <laughs> and like we do. That's it. When, hey, look, when you are over a hundred grand in debt on some shit that you ain't even like getting taught, <laughs> can't even get into the industry, my guy. Man, bro, no. Alabama ain't even uh, worth that much. Hell, you could go on football, go on football team, and have me a nice little computer science degree or something. You know, all something. Gonna wear home or something, you know. Yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, man. So I'm gonna jump into it real quick. All right, so uh, first question uh, is, what got you into making all this kinds of cool pop art and culture art and stuff that you make? You know what I'm saying? So, so I've always been like a like an art type of person. Like I always drew when I was a kid. I got, I'm I'm one of the ones that can look at something and draw it. I'm I wish I was one of those creatives that can just come up top of the dome and just make something, just draw something out. But mm -hmm. that's not me. I'm more of a look at something. I can tweak it a little bit and then get right. it done. So um, that's coming. That you know, that's me coming up doing that type of stuff. And then once I got older and we start, you know, like going to ITT, even though they ain't teach us nothing. <laughs> um, but teaching myself how to do Photoshop mm -hmm. and then teaching myself how to do Illustrator, it kind of, it started going hand in hand. I had to go, had to go the long route to get where I'm at now, but at least I'm, you know, at least it was around, you know what right. I'm so right. I, I pretty much, I graduated from IT, well, um, if you say graduated, um, <laughs> you know they, what I'm saying. They decided to give us degrees. <laughs> you know what I'm saying when they when they gave us the paper. You know what I'm right, saying. Right. Um, I lived there. It took me a while. I was working at restaurants and all this type of stuff. But I ended up. Um, this one guy took a chance on me. He um, he was a uh, he 
worked at, well, he was the owner of Sonorama on 280. They're not there anymore, but mm -hmm. it was, um, it was a black, he was a black owned, he was a, um, uh, he's a Q. Mm -hmm. So he, um, I turned in my resume and stuff like that. And he was persistent on me because I didn't want to do it because you know how 280 traffic is. Facts. I did not. Facts. Didn't I? Did I? Didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. But um, you know, I you know talked it over with my folks, and my mom was like, "Hey, this is the best way for you to get into you know your field, right? And you can kind of get out of because getting out of the restaurant type business, and you know if you stay there too long, you know they're gonna think you well, why you want to jump over and to do th doing this. Right. So I was like, right. okay, cool. I might as well just go ahead and jump on out there. Take a chance, see what's gonna happen. But okay. and I stayed with them for like three, stayed with him for three years. What the other thing that happened that was great for me in, in a way was the well, it was great, but at the same time it was messed up because the owner ended up having um he his kidney fit on him. So okay. he had to end up being like the last year of the place being his, mm -hmm. his kidney failed. And he had to, he needed to get a kidney transplant. Mm. Meanwhile, he's he's in the hospital. I had to pretty much run the shop mm -hmm. by myself with the secretary the whole yeah. time. So, you know, yeah. what greater way to get uh opportunity to, to figure out how to own something, even though you're not using your money, you using somebody else's money and you trying to right. so hold on get the train come through real quick. <laughs> oh, you good. Bad. But yeah, it, um with that opportunity. Mm -hmm. It gave me a little, gave me a little time to, you know, learn how to use, you know, different printers, how to, mm -hmm. how to cut out vinyl, how to, you know, what I'm saying, I, I pretty much learned all that in three years. So that, that, you know, propelled me to get a job up at Coca Cola. Mm -hmm. And once I started doing the Coca Cola thing, you, if you, if you're anywhere in pretty much the top half of Alabama except for well Coleman for um Florence mm -hmm. Oxford Tuscaloosa West Alabama Birmingham that's mm -hmm. the areas that we do and mm -hmm. if you go to any gas station and you see Coca-Cola plastered on the walls or mm -hmm. on the windows that's that's 90% of that is something I did Okay. Like something okay. I did, or like the artwork was something I did. We had to go put it up too, so I did put it up, mm -hmm. and so it's just all over the, you know, all over the spectrum of Birmingham. I just don't post it a lot because of the fact I want to make sure my stuff is, you know, I'm pushing my stuff instead of right, Coke, right, push exactly. Stuff. I don't have to push Coke, Coke. so right. you know what I'm saying. So I try to push my own stuff, which, like I said, the Coke Cola thing gave me more of a in-depth look at what I can do art-wise. Mm -hmm. So I started, you know, looking into more, like, different art, because everybody right now is, like, doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's either, like, oil paintings or, you know, you paint, you know, paint these little pictures and you put them up on the wall and people buy them, which right. is cool. Right. But at the same time, I look at stuff like everybody's done that. You know what I'm saying? So right. what is something you can bring to the table that's different than painting a picture and just that's the picture? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I came up with the lamp thing. And the reason the lamp thing came up was I was on Instagram and mm -hmm. it was a guy overseas that had um he had their unique bottles. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, man, I know a bunch of people that drink. And mm -hmm. they got what is it called like dead dead man alley or dead bottle mm -hmm. alley or whatever. It's like a whole dead, bunch of bottles. Yeah, yeah. it's just it's just bottles that got yeah. dust on them that's just sitting in the corner yep. that they ain't doing nothing with. Got, got some way for you, my boy. Got some way for you. <laughs> so so I was like, hey, let me take them and try this out. So I started mm -hmm. trying it out. People started gravitating to it because it was something unique. It all like since it's like a novelty type thing, I could sell a couple during the year, but Nine times out of ten, I'm, I'm gonna get all my my sales around Christmas time because it's mm -hmm. a novelty type thing. People right. are looking at, looking for something different to give somebody other than the you finna give somebody some Jordans or you know right. some, just some T-shirts or a TV or something like that. They looking at looking for something that you can't get nowhere else. So right. I started doing that, 
I was doing that for a while. I started doing the pandemic. I started doing like uh, resin type stuff. You know, people started doing all these uh, waterfall looking things on tables and all yeah, that. Yeah, the table stuff. you did was really tight. That was that yeah, was cool. I, and it's still it's still available. If anybody okay. wants it, it's still okay. available. Okay. So, but um, yeah, it was, I was doing the um tables. It's a whole set. It's a coffee table and two side tables. Okay. And so I was working on that, doing you know just you know just trying stuff out. Mm -hmm. Then this year, I would say at the beginning, now the end of last year, starting this year, I started seeing people do rugs. So mm -hmm. I was like, you know, let me try this out. Let me see, what, you know, see, let me get, because once I start on something, I kind of get engulfed in it. So I just mm -hmm. started doing it. So now I have, I say right now, I think I have at least, um, I want to say like 12. My um twelve rugs done. Okay. I got, okay. I got um it's one that's got Biggie on it. You might have seen mm -hmm. that one. I, I got the one, one that the one that shows uh it's fresh prints. That with, was with, cool. I like that. Yeah, one. That, was, that was the actual first one I've ever done. So okay. that it was that one. And then I start I started doing some little round looking ones that got mm -hmm. uh I would say um what was it? One that looked like Little Mermaid and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I started just doing like little abstract ones and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I'm currently working on um, the, I don't know if I can say this. It's an Alabama elephant. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. But it doesn't have the Alabama A on it and all that stuff. It's just, it's yeah, just, no, they yeah. don't come in a heartbeat. Yeah, hey, what yeah, you doing? It's, it's, <laughs> the it's the elephant with the hat. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm working on that. Um, <laughs> I'm also doing one that has uh, it's a Sonic the Hedgehog head, okay. And and then I'm doing one that's uh the out it's uh one of Outcast's uh album covers, the one with the um I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's the one with the flag in the background. Oh, Stankonia. Yeah, Stankonia. Yeah, yeah. So I okay. got uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'm doing that. So I'm working on those, and then my girl was trying to uh, tell me about uh, the little kids show the Paul. Was it? Oh, Paw Patrol. Yeah, Paw Patrol. Yeah. So I'm doing, yeah. I'm doing the the dog, uh, the Dalmatian, the one with okay. the, the department. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm doing that one too. So okay, it's just <laughs> just working on those. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Mm -hmm. And of course, they all. If y'all again, if y'all have not seen his work, man, you gotta go see it because it, it's beautiful. It's very stylish. Um, and just some of the stuff he pulls off is just amazing. Like, I still remember even the one there's a, a lamp that you did that had the, the bullet casings in it, which is yeah, really cool. That, you know what I'm that, saying? that like, one is probably like out of all of them, was like my bed, like the, my best seller because of the fact everybody loves guns and all that. So, if I can find bullshit, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, if I can find shells and stuff like that, um, mm -hmm. I you know, I use them and put them in there. I was like, you know, ain't nobody at the time it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that bad. But once all of a sudden everybody was like, well, I can't find bullets. I'm not I'm not letting I'm just gonna recase mine. And I'm like, well, I can't I can't find no more shells now. So right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. It's so, it's tough. And I, yeah. I would say go to these different shooting ranges, but they probably charge your arm and leg for just even the cases. Yeah, because well, see the thing was I was going to a, a range. Mm -hmm. And the guy was like for like a six pound bucket, he was like charging fifty dollars. Okay, that's not Look, bad. I mean, it, 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 I mean it, it's not bad, but you gotta think about it. You got wow. a six, you got yeah, you got a six pound. I mean, uh, bucket. I can probably make with just that bucket. I can probably make like twenty five to thirty lamps with it. That's true. That's <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, that's it, yeah, it, that's true. So I'm gonna get that fifty back on the first one. So exactly. you know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah, yeah. So it it, it it was working. So, okay. uh, but yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Well, mm -hmm. you, you already know my next question because, of course, it's, it's a gaming show. I gotta ask, when you get into video games, man? What what made you fall in love with them or kind of <laughs> get into the world right. of them? And you ain't even gotta so, be like like how I am. You know me, I, I love yeah. games. Oh yeah. yeah. So my thing was I was always I was always a sports person. I mm -hmm. I, I rarely got in the shoes and stuff that's like that. Good. Yeah, I know. Yeah, everybody was like, "Well, why you ain't why you ain't doing this?" I'm I'm more of a sports dude. Mm -hmm. 
So, I hate though. I hate. You know what I'm saying? So, NCAA. I would, I hopefully they bring this thing back. They saying they are. We just gonna see. <laughs> yeah, we look, gonna look. see. Five, you know, what, what was it? Was it 2015? Was the last one? Five yeah, years bro, it's yeah. Call of the day, man. No. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm hoping they're gonna bring it back. But mm-hmm. every every year it came out. I was I was playing. I hated Madden because Madden was so blocky, and it seemed like I don't. I never understood why. Madden didn't take from you took from everything else. I don't understand why you didn't take from NCAA the, the movement of what that their players were doing, the hot routes, everything. It was just so smooth and it and Madden was just so blocky and like slow and looked like I mean it looked like your yeah, fingers yeah. run run faster yeah, than yeah. I, I don't know if you've seen the new one, but they already talk shit about that one too. <laughs> yeah, it's it's horrible, dog. Yeah, it is horrible. And I'm like why would I even play it? I'm ready for NCAA to come back and you know take back over where they're they're right from throne because that <laughs> that is Madden needs to be thrown in the trash. Yeah, it's uh especially when I used to work uh GameStop a long time ago, man. Like that was a huge thing here. Like mm-hmm. in um in, in Bama, of course. Yeah, uh, NCAA football. But you know, when you talk to a lot of these like gamers, they said the exact same thing. It felt yeah. better. It was more crisp. Yeah. A lot of them, and I mean, this is more so like the South and of course the North because they they all mm-hmm. play like really like they want they love like real sports. <clears throat> yeah, they're not as big as college fans. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. But you know that's what a lot of the gamers said when I used to talk to them about it. When I used to see the midnight openings, they're just like, "Yeah, man, it's just better." And the controls, mm-hmm. excuse me, in the faces they usually get better and like they're like they like and they said the same thing Madden can learn from NCAA because they always tried the new stuff on NCAA and then Madden yeah. might get it in the next two or three years you know? yeah for real it's like why y'all ain't I'm, I feel like y'all should be on the same page because the, and this is the crazy part when you like say you do a do a all you know do the uh like the Heisman challenge or whatever they was doing on, mm-hmm. on certain game you get to the fourth year you're getting ready to get you transfer to the, the to Madden Mm-hmm. Your player, your player yep. transfer, player so you're like, well, man. why is this play style ain't on? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I know it's supposed to be stuff that, you know, once you get to Madden, it's supposed to be bigger because you it's almost like you're going to the league for real. You know what I'm saying? So, but it it's not. It's horrible. It's more. It's way horrible. It's just like uh, it's just like how the the first round draft pick. First mm-hmm. person on the board, he goes to the most garbage team. That don't yep. make no sense. Like he ain't been coming here and save this team. If they've been <laughs> over, they've been <laughs> over thirteen for years. And how in the world is one dude? Look, look, look unless that salary cap good, he ain't gonna do it. He'd be like, nah, no, he ain't gonna do that. And then, then to make it so bad, yo. I mean, yeah, you get a, you think you get a big contract, you getting on a rookie scale, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. you might get a, you know, two three million, cool, but. Is that two or three million worth me going over here getting killed? Because especially if you was a quarterback, is, oh, it, yeah. is it worth? If you ain't got an offensive line, is it worth three million to get go over here and sit down and get killed for three million? Yeah, man. Yeah. It's just it's just crazy, man. But um, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's funny you talk about that, and I think that comes from because I, I I've spoken. On that a little bit before, I mean, you know, I'm not a sports guy, but yeah. I've talked about how in the past, like especially on the show, like mm-hmm. Madden, I think the problem just like when they didn't have any competition, man, they just got no. lazy, you know. And I well, mean, you, well, you, you know, they started doing the two Ks, and you know, the, the, right when they know. were doing, yeah, when they were yeah. doing two K, but oh, but, but they were on it, but yeah, you know, but you know what happened? Madden was like, no, we're not having any competition. Let's go buy it's, them out, and then that's what happened. They when they brought the franchise license, which I didn't agree with, I don't think no. the NFL should have signed with. No. Um, that was the death of it, really, because yeah. they weren't gonna do anything because they knew that was just built in money. So of course you're not gonna put a lot of resources into that. No, and that was the thing, because like they were scared to death when ESPN came out in 2K5 with like the 1999 ESPN 2K5s, and yeah. it was killing the market. Yeah, they're like, yo, hand over fist, like people were going over to them. Yeah. And, you know, that's that's why, like, 2K kind of took over the NBA realm. And the same thing mm-hmm. kind of happened to it. I mean, it's doing okay, but, like, that's also the problem with it. With no competition, they're not, yeah. like, sitting down and, like, okay, what do we need to change? How can we <laughs> compete 
with NBA Live this year, even though NBA yeah. Live was trash, you know. So. Yeah. And see, all they do is, like you said, Madden is doing nothing but reskinning it every year. That's all they're doing. It's not doing oh, nothing three, different. Three, 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 three or four things, and then yeah. you go, you know. That's it. That's yeah, it. everybody worried about the Madden ratings and stuff like that, but you ain't worried about how this graphics look, how these, you know, you coming out, oh, let's put a new, you know, let's put a new jersey on them or something like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm bro, it's a lot more stuff y'all can be doing. <laughs> Just giving a theme, another jersey. They they no, gonna start no. uh they gonna start sneaking in their uh, NFL street games from the old yeah. days. They start putting <laughs> yeah. it in on that and be like, please buy it, please, you know. Oh, for real. And so. see the man, I wish they would bring back the NBA or uh, NFL Street, the N- NBA Street. That was cool. Like NBA Jams, all that. Yeah, that was, dude, that was, it was yeah, it was, NBA Jam tournament edition. What? That was, that was it, man. That was it. Yeah. Right I love that it. Was, I mean, that was the, that was the thing to play. That's it. And like, and that was the funny part. I used to play that not when he was a sports fan, but like that was just so much fun. Like from Man. downtown, and he's on fire. Bro, bro. And they dunk you from like all the way on the other side of the court. And, and then I'm gonna tell you what else. It, I'm gonna tell you what kind of made me like I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say hate this generation or whatever. I'm not saying I hate them or nothing like that. But we used to be able to sit next to the person, talk as much shit. As possible, damn near getting a fight next to us. Can't do it. And, but but we 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 know we playing. Now you got these people online. They talking trash. Oh, you garbage. But you wouldn't disconnect. say that to my face, dude. Right. And then, and then even worse, they'll talk all that junk and then disconnect. Right as you yeah, want to be. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to say nothing else now. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I come back and beat you. Oh, oh, right. who's that? Who was that shit you were talking a few minutes ago? Where was where was the talk that you're talking? You the same energy you had five minutes ago when I was when I was getting beat. I turned around and get you and kick yeah. your ass. Now all of a sudden now you gotta disconnect. You over here crying and moping and shit. Look, you be over there talking to them and they be trashy too. Be like, be like well, oh, man, what happened? You were doing yeah. good. Now you building bricks, you're building a house. What happened? For real. Like, oh, you, you, you Hey, you trying to shoot from half court at this point? What's going on, bro? What's going on? What's going on? I thought you was fine over there. I, I thought everything was all good. Oh, man. But like I said, you wouldn't be like you're not. You can't be next to me no more. It's like I, I, and I say that all the time, bro. Like I, I say that on the show all the time. I miss the arcades because remember the arcades yeah. you used to teach us that. You used to teach us yeah. like, oh, like you be humble because you can talk trash, but in the, yeah. the day. You just play yeah. with somebody, and it's just it's human interaction. But these yeah. kids now they've grown up, and not all of them, because even some of ours are very still like that. But they yeah. they get too comfortable with Xbox Live and like the online services to mm-hmm. where they can say whatever they want. They got that anonymity, and it's like, yeah, but, you know, but. yeah. And it's everybody, like I said, now now everybody got an opinion. They can say whatever they want and talk crazy to you and be like, "Well, bro, you wouldn't say this if I was in your face." Though. You would not, yeah, because you know. You know you, be some like five, six kid. You sit up here, and be like, "All right, say no. We in our case. Let's go." And they're like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying that. <laughs> and, hey, then the crazy. You know, and normally you would think it'd be the dudes. It'd be girls on their spicy as hell too. I'd be like, "Good lord, just girl. be to- all of just it's it's I, girl. all, I know all I, of just be toxic." Period, <laughs> bro, bro. So I play, I play Apex now. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I pretty uh-huh. much got I pretty got I got pretty good in it. You okay. know what I'm saying? I'm okay. not gonna keep my own horn or nothing like that. I ain't no predator or nothing like that. Okay. But so when the first time I planned it, you know, it's not no like I would say like you could just go in and play play with you know, play a little low guy, you know what I'm saying? You gotta yeah, go high. No. It's no it's no playing no rookie, nothing like that. You go you drop Survive, in, bro. You jump in, yeah, you drop in, you die. Good and let's go, you know. Yeah, yeah. You, drop, yeah. you drop in and you die. That's pretty much yeah. what it is. You got to keep yeah. doing that for like at least about two or three weeks to drop in right. and die. Before you just like, okay, yeah. I, get it now. I know where to go. Yeah. I think I know where the good spots yeah. are, you know. I, I finally know the get. I, I know what kind of gun I want, you know right, what I'm saying. Right. So I was playing, and like at the beginning, like I said, it was, it was, this, it was this, I was a teammate of this girl. She was from New York. I can tell because of voice. <laughs> and we're there, you know, playing. To, and I'm up here trying to figure out where I'm at and shooting and all this. Stuff. Like, you just trash. You trash. What? I'm like, bro, what is going? 
I didn't even talk to the girl. I'm like, hey, I'm kind of new to you know what I'm saying? I just started. Give me a look, you know, look. Call they don't, me. Right. If she's been Call playing the minutes, you don't care. In Apex, they, they don't let you be dude. <laughs> no, they don't give a damn. Me, bro. Yeah, you no damn about you being a rookie. Right, like, when well, you move the hell out the way where I go kill everybody. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just stay over there. You just like yeah. try to learn how to play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to learn how to play it, you know. So oh, yeah, it's it's one of them things, man. <laughs> All mm. right. Well, look, I'm gonna get to this next question. So this is uh something I've always wanted to ask you. What inspires you to do the art that you do? Okay, inspires me. Um it's more so of a therapeutic type of situation for me. It's always uh, so coming up. I I'm not saying I came up in the roughest part of town or nothing like right. that, but I've had some situations. You know, right. I, right. I, I I lived through a plane crash. You know, plane crash. Um, wow. We uh, we had you know shootings. It, it was almost right. I want to say every day, but it was. It was some bad ones, you know what I'm saying? I lived through a lot. So right. in the time, you know, you know, you deal with heartbreak from girlfriends and all this other stuff. So I had to find something. I'm t i am I could say to myself now that I'm like a loner to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. Um, so I pretty much, you know, the artwork was pretty much like my their you know, therapy. I can okay. draw something and I can like space out and you know, just draw, you know, you, especially when you, you don't have no job, you ain't got nothing else to do, you know, you know, I, yeah. I, you know, I really didn't, I played video games, but like I said, I played sports. I really didn't play like shooters and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. nine times out of 10, I get tired of, draw, you know, playing. Yeah. Playing basketball just, over yeah, and over. yeah. Yeah. Let me play. Let me, let me draw something. So I just mm -hmm. started trying to draw. I had like, you know, school papers. There it was anything that I can have that was blank. I was mm -hmm. drawing. So okay. it was just one of them. One of the things that's it's pretty much was like my therapy to, to just draw. Okay, it still is to a certain uh, to a certain extent. Well, that's a great outlet because you know you're still doing what you love, and then to be yeah. able to parlay it into what you have is, is very amazing. So that's cool. Okay. Yeah. So, like, basically, you just kind of take your drama and that kind of inspires you to make, like, new stuff. That's that's awesome, man. That's, mm -hmm. that's a great skill to have, you know. Yeah, and, so, and my dad, <laughs> my, uh, my dad would tell me that that's what, that was, he, he wanted to draw, and he couldn't draw, so I think his drawing kind of to it, you. It got passed on to me, so that's, that's what ended up happening. Yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Okay, all right. And then, so my next question is, because I know you talked about some of the stuff you have done. What future projects do you have planned for your art? Like, what what do you what's coming or that you can talk about? You know, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, right now, I'm like I'm still trying to find my niche and stuff yeah. because that's that's the biggest thing is like finding your niche. And a lot of people are doing the real thing right now. It started getting it started getting popular, popular. and a lot of people are doing it now. Um, but like, I mean, some people, you know, people have like help friends that you know, or they go live. I'm I'm not saying I'm shy or nothing like that, but I'm not mm -hmm. um, go live type of person right, to do right. you know do certain things. But I, I'll video it while I'm doing it, and you know, put a you know TikTok together and throw, put it out there but i know eventually that that's probably gonna be my next thing trying to you know go live because I, I watched this guy um he does maybe one or two rugs a night or something or he just picks a rug and he just mm -hmm. goes live the whole time while he makes it and he get followers that way you know okay. What I'm saying? okay yeah and i know you know the world is all about followers and all this other stuff now and you know you you try to be unique with stuff but the thing about it, you to be unique, you still got to have people that look at your unique stuff. Right. So, um, you know, it's just it's it's a, you know, it's a balance type of thing. You got to figure out what's your niche, what you're gonna do, how you how it's gonna work, that type of situation. But definitely a big give or take kind of situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now, um, I have some events I'm working on, trying to get my stuff together for the events. Um, there's one one in 
One is in Huntsville. One is in um. I got like two. Of, one one is next month. Well, all of them are next month, but one is gonna be down at Railroad Park. Um, okay. They, okay. They have like this picnic thing that they're having, so they was looking for vendors. So I'm doing that. Okay. Um, it's another one I can't think of right at the top of my head, but um, the one in Huntsville is gonna be at. I want to say Madison Academy. I think that's where it's going to be. Okay. Um, okay. And and um, so it's you know I'm just trying. I've been trying to just come up with different places to sell, and I, I got pretty much October kind of set right now. Then I don't have to work on November and December. You know, once it get closer to Christmas, everybody wants something. So you know, yeah. just that's trying to work on those species. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So <clears throat> that's what basically I've been. You know, been working on trying to just get content and then get the rugs or get the lamps or, you know, come up with um, other stuff. So I don't know if you saw this. I have a um, and I it was it was like a DIY type of situation, but it's a wall skunks. It looks like a perfect. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I have two of those. Well, nice. Things. Yeah, so, and it lights up at the bottom and the top on the inside of it. Nice. So uh, once I get through with it, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna post it, but I just haven't posted it yet. Yeah, so, absolutely. Post that, dude. I want to see that. That's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's just it's you know it's just keep thinking of ideas. Even if you go, uh, like I go, I used to follow this person on D uh on uh YouTube that does like uh dollar um they'll go like to fa oh, not family dollar dollar um, tree. Dollar Tree and just make Dollar Tree mm -hmm. anything. So I was like, okay, well, let's see. Can I make that Dollar Tree find that they did look more expensive than the Dollar Tree stuff? Right. That's you know what I'm saying? So I, that's why that's where the Wall Skunks thing came from. I, I cool, you know, man. so I I just been anything I think that's creative that looks mm -hmm. cool. I might try to re recreate it or make it look a differently or whatever. But I'm I, the one thing I've I've thought about and did on my own and just just listen to different people like Steve Harvey is like one of the things um one of the people I listen to mm -hmm. like he always says just try to do just do it you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. stop you know the the worst thing you can do is tell somebody else your your you know your idea or your dream mm -hmm. and they can they'll convince you not to do it right you know what I'm saying so. Right. Now I don't. If I want to do it, I'm just gonna do it. I'm not yeah, even, right. you know, I'm not even caring if I tell somebody. If I tell somebody, and they start trying to say, "Well, why you need to do that?" Well, because I want to. Now, you, well, you know, and, and, and you already know, man, because we faced that ICT Tech. You know, when yeah. I was talking about being a game designer, people were like, "Oh, dude, you're in Alabama, yeah. you'll never be a game designer." I was like, yeah. "All right, watch me. Don't worry about yeah, it." You know, what I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like you know, you gotta prove. It's not proving people wrong. You just no, nah, if you, you want it, you just yeah, and, and if yeah. you want it, nobody can stop you. Cause like just yeah. man, the only person that's ever been with me since day one, man, is my mom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. New. Like when I told yeah. her like five years old, that's what I wanted to be. She mm -hmm. might have said, Oh, you're so smart, you can be a lawyer, doctor, whatever. But as soon as she saw how much I love videos, she was like, Yeah, I believe it. Cool, do it. Yeah. You gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. So I just always just kept that ambition, that fire with me. And like that's yeah. what people anybody who's and, and like I said, you know that from like I said things. Anybody that's ever questioned me knows just like, oh yeah, Cliff's gonna do it. Cause like every yeah. time they had something for me, I was like, Yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got plans somewhere, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So because you yeah, know me, I would I would always sit you up and be like, Hey man, where you know, yeah, what, what, where, you where you at? Yeah, what, yeah. What is, yeah, I was like, Man, I'm working on it, working on it, play. Yeah, because uh, I even be hey, I was like, shoot, if I could help, you know what I'm saying, I would try, you know what I'm saying. It Absolutely, no, you know, I, and, and see so. that I, I feel the same way. You know, what I'm saying we we make it. You know, help each other, or just yeah. even if we both make it, man, help each other still. You know, what I'm saying? yeah, it's, it's, that's the one thing about it. I'm not opposed to you know helping people that I know that you know that's big because it's like a lot of people, you know, like you, you get big, you leave, or you get big and you don't do like you I gotta never, get back, man. Yeah, yeah, you got to get back. It's like it's people out there that yeah. They they don't have that motivation or they don't have that person in their life to be like, hey, just go for it. Yeah, yeah just go for it. If that's what you want, go for it. 
and and that's you know that's what you have to like really look at and that's what you just have to keep with you whenever you got these type of dreams that we have you know what i'm saying yeah. just go out there and do it like you living it right now and i'm i'm doing what i can to get there but i yeah. mean you know that was like even from the the, the early days i just detect we were both just like yeah that's what we're gonna do man we're gonna get out here and yeah. do it yeah oh yeah. um, and speaking of your your art inventory and your art pieces what what's uh popular for you up there at Pepper Place? Because I, I see you like post from there sometimes. Uh, I'm sorry I never get out there to like see no, y'all. I just you're good. I never make it out to anywhere. I'll be too busy working or just dying yeah. apparently. I, I just got over COVID, so that shit was oh. Uh, so. oh believe me, I understand. I I had COVID right before I had you know, I was telling you I was going on vacation. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I had man. it right. That was I, so sad. Oh. Bro, I caught it right before I was so mad and so pissed. That was selling you like, bro. But, but yeah, I'm, like, what? What is your what? What? What are the like customers and fans seem to like at Pepper Place when you go out there? So, um, when I went to Pepper Place, it was more so of the the bullet shells. That's that it grab it. It grabs attention. Okay. You know, it grabs people's attention. Um, okay. the other thing is. Uh, that that I do good with is you know some sports theme stuff you know right. a lot of people like that um but for the most part the bullet shells is the go to I, okay. I'm guaranteed at least one sale of those because everybody likes you know shooting and you know it's it, the stuff I have is perfect for a bar and mm -hmm. it's a conversation piece it can start out you know a conversation mm -hmm. at any time. So it's it just, yeah, it's just one of those things that, you know, not a lot of people do it. Not a lot of people see it because the one thing I didn't want to do was do the most people make those bottle lamps and they just use the Christmas lights and put it down. Yeah, it down, yeah, down, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, I don't yeah. want it. Yeah, I was like, they look so cheesy like it came from right. the Dollar Tree. I don't right. want that. So right. that's why I was like, I'm going to make a real lamp. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's what I wanted. I wanted something that was look real, that you know, it's not some little, you know, it, it looked professional. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So that was that was the the main reason for doing it that way. Okay, cool, cool. That's what's up. That's up. Okay. Um. So, all right. My well, next question for you is, and this kind of ties into that. What is your favorite piece of art that you always wanted to create, but you never got a chance to? Have you gotten to that point yet where it was like, man, I want to do it, but it's like something keeps coming up? Or Man, bro, I, I got stuff on Pinterest that I look at every day. I've got like <laughs> different <laughs> different pens of stuff that mm -hmm. I want to, like rugs I want to make and different stuff like that. And I, you know, I'm only one person. I fit, man, so, right? Like, <laughs> I'm like, only man, one person. I'm only one so, person. Yeah. Yeah. And so I do. I do what I can, um, you know, and like I said, it's, it's a balancing act. You come, you know, you go to work, you come home. I probably get, lately I've been getting home from work maybe a little, let's just say around five. Mm -hmm. I get here, you know, sometimes you're tired, sometimes you're not, mm -hmm. sometimes you want to do something, sometimes you don't. So it's like, then when you get home, you're trying to figure out which way you want to go. You want, do I want to do bottles tonight? Do I want to do a rug tonight? Do I want to draw tonight? You know what I'm saying? Then you got to, right. once you figure that out, it's around 7.30, 8 o'clock. It's like, you don't, you don't have that much time before you have to go to sleep and start all over. So it's just, it's just, whenever I come home and feel like I can get done right quick, mm -hmm. that's what I work on. So. I feel you. I feel you. Um, that, yeah. I, I, I do about the same. I mean, when you're trying mm -hmm. to you know, do content for the show. And then you're trying to yeah. also do the other podcast I got going. And uh, mm -hmm. you're also trying to, like, work on the game. I do the same thing. I'm like, all right, what do I have the energy for tonight? If mm -hmm. I have energy for anything cool, because I the same. Like, I've been putting in a lot of hours at the new job. And, uh, yeah. yeah, man, like, I, yeah, you just, you come home and you're just like, you know, what can I do? What do I want to do? What what can I get to today? You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. complete something. So I, yeah. I feel you on that. And see, I'm, I'm, you know, you, the biggest thing to me is like, you look, when you look at, like, once you got out of college, 
you know, you looked at your parents and stuff like that. You see what they were doing and stuff like that. But you just didn't understand that yeah, a job what? takes up half of your life. Yeah. Like you will work unless you like came up with money and stuff like that, which not, you know, I wouldn't say 90, but at least 85% of people will then come up in money. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be, you're pretty much going to be making somebody else's dream come true. Well, and then like it's, it's one of those things to where like it sucks because when you want to do more than just like a regular job, you gotta yeah. put in just as much time on your shit. Like, yeah. you work eight hours for them. You gotta come on work eight hours. Yeah, for and, and, like, and that's the thing. It's uh, like you know. you 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 know, it makes you tired of trying to do your stuff, and then mm-hmm. you stop doing it, and then it's mm-hmm. like, okay, you're just working for this person now, right? And right. you you gotta be more, you gotta be disciplined in the point of, okay, I'm a, I, I gave this job my time. Now I can give myself my content, my stuff. Stuff I Absolutely. put my name on, I put my heart, you know, my sweat into. I'm gonna do it. I gotta do what I gotta do tonight. If I gotta stay up to two o'clock in the morning doing it, it right, you, man? What and like that's 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 me, bro. Like that's what yeah. I mean because you know putting out an episode of Nerd Play every week is hard to do. Yeah, and, you know me, me and uh, Chris, aka C Real, you know my host, you come in and yeah. like thank God for him. You know what I'm saying? Like he has that same energy. Just like yo, we gotta put out something every week. And yeah. we just kind of come with it um, mm-hmm. on top of everything that's going on in our lives, man. And you just, you know, yeah. you, like, you really work on it. And you do. You put your heart and soul. Because I'm the same way. Like, my name is on it. I, I, that shit's got to be amazing. It's got to be something I'm proud of. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I'm not even like that as a person. It's just that's yeah. what I'm dedicated to. You know what yeah. I mean? So. And and that's that's been my thing too because I'm a graphic designer too. So right, right, you know, what right, I'm every, we, yeah, every, everything. You know, and, and the thing about it is, it's a it's a curse. It's a curse. It is, man. Because you, you just, <laughs> oh, like, I, yeah. I could have did this better. I could, yeah. Even when you yeah, finish, you you, know. you, nit, you nitpick at everything because especially like I'm a graphic designer. Everything I put out, I I, I can tell you this when I used to work at uh the sign uh, sign company. Mm-hmm. So this dude, he hired this dude to come in, and uh, after the the previous guy got fired, mm-hmm. he, he brought him in to help me do work and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And what ended up happening was the dude would ask, "How much did they pay mm-hmm. for the artwork that he was trying to prepare?" And if he made, if they said is they paid like twenty dollars for it, he finished give him a twenty dollar, I would say shit show. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty much like a twenty dollar design that doesn't look good. Right. Me, on the other hand, I don't care if you gave me five dollars. It's gonna look. look it's the, gotta the look good, man. It's gonna yeah. look like it's <laughs> worth a thousand. That's so it's I, got to, I look, man. I look. I look at it. Is this is my name on it? Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I look at it like that. Regardless yeah, of how much you paid me for, it's gonna be an a one. And you can't, you know, it's because everybody's gonna see this. So it's, you know, it's about presentation, you know. What yeah, I'm saying? And, and, I don't if I don't feel comfortable with a project, like I don't want to present it to you, you know. Because yeah. that's that's what you know stays so on my video game because like I'm doing everything. Like, you know, yeah. we were talking about how like you come home some days and you work on your stuff. Like yeah. some days I'm like, all right, do I want to work on the, the video game itself or do I want to work on the music for the video game? Do I want to yeah. work on the story for it? Like I need to flush out this, you know. So it's mm-hmm. it takes time and effort, man. You just gotta put it in there, you know. Yeah, and like I say, it's just it's it's a lot to you know, especially when you know you're, I would say, a perfectionist at your craft. You right. know, besides everything else, you know, you you make sure that your craft is. It's straight. That's, right, because that's like even the nerd plate, like the the cover art. Then I made yeah. I made all our cover arts for all the like the YouTube episodes. Yeah, like, bro. Like I'm like, all right, I'm only gonna spend like so much time because you know whatever. Hopefully, yeah. I can just do this and then go to sleep. And I'll be like, okay, maybe I need to put this here. Now nah, yeah, maybe I need to put yeah. this, or maybe I need yeah. to you know do this with mm-hmm. the corners, you know. And it'd just be like. I'm sitting up here spending an hour on this, and I said, like, oh, I'm just going to do this real quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, it never turns out to be real quick. Yeah. It's always because you get inside. <laughs> you're like, well, how can I make that better? Or how can I do yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. And you really yeah. get into it. And you, you're just yeah. like, yo, I want to, you know, make it look. I and, want something that presents me, you know. Yeah. And see, the the 
the main one of the main reasons I got the Coca Cola job, even though I was doing some of that work anyway, is because they seen some of my art. So nice. I don't, nice. Like I don't know if uh, you know you you ain't been to the Magic City Classic in a while. Have you? Not in a while, no. No, not so, all. all right, so the last I would say five years, maybe mm -hmm. I was the one that did all the banners, like the banners oh, nice. in sports. Yeah, and the way I look at like I always wanted to be like more of a sports design, you know, graphic designer mm -hmm. type, and because I, I, you know, I like it. I, that's how I look at stuff. It's like it got to look good to me. Mm -hmm. Well, I can even turn it out because right. nine times out of ten, if it looks good to me, the person that gets it is gonna be like, "Oh, this looks awesome." Right. So right. I always, you know, I always, you know, go towards that right. So you know, when I started doing the Magic City Clash and stuff, they mm -hmm. liked it so much that they made me keep doing it for the past five years. The first time I ever did it, they was like, um, they didn't. They was okay with what was already being put together, but they was like, they need, they, you know, they wanted to, to pop more or do, you know, it mm -hmm. to be a little bit better. So mm -hmm. I did it and then everybody loved it. And then like I said, it just a steamroll from there. So okay. this year, this year, I'm not doing it this year. So mm -hmm. um, they got somebody else to do it. Mm -hmm. um, the art works okay. Okay. It, okay. It's not how I would do it, but it's all, I mean, it's not bad. Okay. It's just, it's just not my artwork. It's not how I was. It's, it's, how, it's not Henry original. You know. Yeah, it's not. It's not that. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not what okay. you put. You know, with with because I'm more of a, a action type of thing. You know, because I play football. Right. You know, right. I want I want to be kind of like in your face type of situation. Like this is okay. you know you 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 know you want to feel it. You you know how they say. A picture's worth a thousand words. So if you can see a picture and Absolutely. you can feel what's in that picture, then you that you made something, not something that's just uh, okay. I put it together. Okay, okay. So, but you know, uh, to each his own. Uh, I mean, it's hey it's, man, that's just one company. You got others yeah. out there. You know, what yeah. I'm, I'm, right I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sweating it. Hey, the one thing that is good about it is I don't have to do it this year, so I can. Do other stuff Free that up, yeah, yeah, that because I we got all other stuff at, at Coke we got to do, so mm -hmm. that's just one of the things that's taken on my plate. That's but, awesome. but the thing about it is, I got I got I got some artwork in the chamber for that one. Next, if they want me to do it again next year, I got I got I already okay. got it in my brain what I was gonna do. Okay, that's what's up, man. Yeah. Um, and that kind of leads into our next question, too. So, you talked about. That was gonna be actually one of my questions. Uh, so you're gonna eventually get a website, kind of show off mm -hmm. your stuff. Uh, can you tell me more about that? Like, what you want to kind of show people when you showcase your art, wherever it would be, maybe whether it be like a website or an actual storefront one day. You know, um, storefront, no, no, I mean, too much work. <laughs> no, too much work. Are... A lot of money. Yeah, storefront, storefront is a lot of money. Um, I learned that's one thing I did learn while. Working at that that sign shop is like two eighty. That guy was paying. Oh man! Months. And you paying for the real estate? You need to pay like it's not for the traffic, none of that. You paying for the real no. estate? No, that's it. Because some days where people yeah. probably don't even come in, you know what I'm saying? But, and then yeah. he was he was a franchise, so he had to pay pay franchise fees and stuff. That mm -hmm. was the most craziest thing. I can't do it. Yeah, and yeah. The, the one mistake that he made. Also was that he put the the business on the top floor. If you have a print shop, any type of yeah, print shop business, on the bottom. it should be yeah. on the ground level because so of the fact. Can come in and see it, and you not, know, and not even that, not even that. Mm -hmm. When you have these big printers that are like oh, sixty man. or seventy inches long. Yeah. They weigh about 150 <laughs> to 200 pounds. And boot yeah, up the and, and, that, uh. and that the, the place that I'm talking about didn't have a have a have an elevator, but it at the same time it couldn't get on the elevator even if they did. So Man. we had to pick. You know, I wasn't there. I wasn't there when they put it in there, but they had to pick it up. Like like ten people had to pick it up and bring it upstairs. Mm -mm. And uh. it's like, no, I wouldn't do that. I would put it on the ground level. 
Just make you know, all the offices upstairs, man. Yeah, yeah. you know, what I'm saying? so yeah. so it was just one of them things. It you know, but yeah, it's um uh, far as website, I I will stick to a website. Mm-hmm. But the thing about me is, and, I, and it's it's the thing I'm still trying to like figure out. Should I do separate ones or should I keep it all under one house? Because I think I would rather keep it all under one house and just do different mm-hmm. tables for it. Because yeah. of the fact I do rugs, I do lamps, I do uh, graphic art, mm-hmm. I do um, um, t-shirt designs, I do mm-hmm. um, what's the 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 lamps? I do the resin stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 not just you you getting more than a one trick pony here. It's like absolutely. That, you I mean, know what I'm saying? You're talking it's, about it's, glass work. You're talking yeah, about you know it's, it's a lot of stuff I do. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's it's just all over the place. So you know, I'm currently I may um, which I should have bought one in here, but I didn't have it. I didn't think about it. But I made fans for oh, nice. like. Yeah, I remember it, you were talking about that. I saw the uh, picture, one of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I just, um, I, I thought about it, and then one of the companies that I work with, they, they do them, and I just thought about. It, I was like, well, I can do some fans, you know, especially how hot it's been. I can do some mm-hmm. fans, uh, you know, uh, sports. I, I want. I'm gonna tell you the one, uh, arena or platform or whatever you want organization I want to get into. I want to get into doing like for fraternity and sorority stuff. Mm, yeah, because it's, hard. Of, it's hard it's a hard thing. I know you know you got you got to go through so many hoops to do it. Mm. But I know so many people that's in them. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's the, you know what I'm saying? And if you could do something you just think about it if you could do something for somebody's whole life. You know what I'm saying? It's sometimes it's a line that's 200 people, it's a line that's 20 people. You know right. what I'm saying? But if you can get in that realm and you can prove to the people that you're not going to mess their stuff up, that's the biggest thing. Right. Because a lot of people that do it, that's why they get angry about it because you do somebody's, you know, sorority or something, but you're not doing it in a good way. You, you, you pretty right. much are, you know, it's like something that they don't, they wouldn't even get behind. You know what I'm saying? So it's, and you're not asking permission to do it. And then they get, you know, you get, they get upset and then you'd be looking at them crazy, but mm-hmm. you did something that they, you know, they don't even stand for. So, right. but I really would, would like to get in something because I think I could do some cool stuff with, you know, with that, especially art wise. Oh man, mm-hmm. lamps. I'm talking about doing lamps. And then if I could do, um, maybe somebody's, um, you know, a Sydney or whatever with in a in a rug, mm-hmm. like, come on, you know what I'm saying. So right. it's it's a lot of stuff you can do with that. It's it's a lot of avenues that you can go. It you know I don't know. I'm, I've had I've had a couple you know people that I know that are in fraternities and sororities just want me to do a one off thing for them. Mm-hmm. So maybe somebody will ask me to do a rug for them or something like that, and maybe I can kind of work my way that way. So. Yeah, and and just like the, with those, it's just talking with people and getting to the right yeah. person, getting to the right president, yeah. affiliate stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You can do it. I mean, you know, everybody's seen your artwork is incredible. So you know, you definitely, yeah, it's definitely gonna shine. You know what I'm saying? You don't know, worry about that. Yeah. Um, and so of course, like one of my last questions before we go is, and this is funny. This is something that I've done for all the first time guests on here. Uh, if you could make a restaurant meal made after yourself, what would you call the dish? Uh, and yeah, it could be any food dish. Any food dish and be named after myself. Hmm. That's a <laughs> that's a heck of a question. That's a heck of a question. It's a loaded question, man. That's, that's what I do out here. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah. So. I would do beef ribs. Okay. Um, just because my dad was a uh, he he loved the barbecue, so that'd be something that I can say both. I can put because I mean I'm named after him, so right. it'll be both our names on it. Uh, it'd be beef ribs. I would say uh, macaroni and cheese, of course. 
of course. And it would be, I want to say, this, this, some spinach or uh, okay. some greens or something like that. So would it be safe to call it the brown beef ribs? Is that what it is? Yeah, they'll, they'll be right. They'll be great. <laughs> okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Cool. As long as they pull off the bone, you that's all you need. That's it, man. You know that's, that's it, baby. That's all you need, man. That's all you okay. need. Okay, that's what's up. Give me some ideas for later. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> well, of course, Mr. Clifford, I appreciate you coming on the show. You know, you always <laughs> welcome here anytime. Um, yeah, maybe, just, maybe next time I come, I'll, I'll, you know, I can have a rug ready for you to see or something. Oh, man, that'd be dope, bro. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. man. So get the, uh, make us, you know, what we gotta do, we gotta commission you to do like a nerve plate something so we can have yeah, that man. piece, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> we can that'd do be, that. That'd be dope, man. Um, and of course, before you go, just uh, just you know, do you have any questions for me, man? Anything you want to ask Nerd Play fam over here, man? Like, what's up? Um, let's see. So, how how far do you think you are on your game? Oh, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, all right, all right, all right. Peep game. So, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so if the game itself. It's like a hundred percent kind of thing. Then yeah. what I'm doing is I'm chopping off maybe about ten, maybe about less than ten percent. Chopping that off, putting that into the demo, and of mm-hmm. that demo, I'm probably like forty or fifty percent complete. So okay. I'm I'm probably about uh, after everything's said and done of the real game itself because I'm doing everything probably about five to six percent of the real game complete. The story mm-hmm. is complete, no problem. Yeah. It's just working and getting there, and that's why mm-hmm. I'm I'm trying to work on the demo right now. So when I put the demo out, I can kind of do the Kickstarter too, because I want people to see what yeah. they'd be paying for. You know what I'm saying? If yeah. if they were to invest in it, um, okay. so that's that's why it's taking so long. Because a lot of people, which is true, and I could have I could have just put a Kickstarter out and just said, hey, I'm still working on it, but here's some images. And you know, donate to the Kickstarter, but I yeah. feel like if people were actually able to play it and see where I'm trying yeah. to go with it, mm-hmm. I would get more money from that or get more investment. So I got that's you. What I'm to do. That make that makes a lot of sense. I mean, I I would want to see what I'm playing to you know, right? You know, what I'm saying? Cause it, I mean, and and I and I get it because people have been so burnt by like you got games like Mighty Number no. Nine that was a Kickstarter and it was trash, but they raised. Mm-hmm. Four million dollars for the Kickstarter. You know, you know why I read the press because he had four million dollars. Right, exactly. <laughs> he was just like, All right, cool. Let me take a little bit of that money, the rest of it's mine. And yeah, no, we got a game. It's gonna be great. You know, yeah. And it, and it was it sucked because it was from the guy Kenji Inifun who did like Mega Man, and so people, mm-hmm. you know, especially myself, were just like, oh shit, this is gonna be dope. I didn't buy into it, but I bought yeah. the game first day, and I was just like, I'm so glad I didn't donate to that Kickstarter because I know Man. they're upset right now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I want to try to avoid, and I want to see you know honest feedback from people when they play the game, how they felt, you know, just from the demo, you know, like because mm-hmm. that's gonna kind of dictate how the game is gonna go. So I want to see how people feel from it. So. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, that's that's pretty much it because I, I know you know we've been working on that for a minute. So oh, bro, I have. And, and it doesn't help that you know every time I put out something like when I put the book out, people are just like, "All right, it's cool." When the game will come out, or yeah. like I put the episodic podcast out, it's like, again, it's cool. I'm glad you got voice actors. When I gave that though, and it's like I'm working yeah, how, on it. I'm working on it. How, you know? how did the book go? The book was all right, man. Like I, I sold a few. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't. It, it, it was totally. It went like you know double plastic. You know what I'm saying? Like people. <laughs> I might have sold under 100, 200, you know what I'm saying? But it was cool. I, I appreciate all the uh, people who picked it up. Even, like, Jimbo picked up a copy. Some of the yeah. people I worked with picked up a copy. And it's still up on Amazon, so people still get it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, it's I, that's, what, that's one thing I'm thinking about doing. I yeah, mean, man. I've been, I've been thinking about it for a while. Um, and I, I got some, I, well, it's going to be, like, my life mm-hmm. into a kind of a story type of situation. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's a, yeah. Yeah. Because like I said, I can go I can go into like I know I said earlier about you know the plane crash. 
Yeah. I can go I can go into that a lot deeper, you know, that type of thing. Cause that was that was a day. That was a I, day. Yeah, I can only mess. Yeah, do do it. Cause I know I'd read it. I'd buy it in a yeah. heartbeat. So yeah, <laughs> um, so, I've been thinking about it. That's what's up. Yeah, do it, man. Cause it's I can tell you from my experience with Amazon, uh the Kindle book service, it's uh-huh. very simple. Um all you have to do is just really just it's just writing it and then structuring it the way you want. And then mm-hmm. putting it out there, and it's you know it's dope mm-hmm. because I mean for me to uh, put out confessions of a serial writer like I did, and yeah, have that content out there is just it's very dope. So and it, they made the experience very easy. Um, the only thing is just don't. It takes so long to get paid, so like don't, don't think don't, you're gonna get paid right away. Yeah, like don't even yeah. think about it. Just like put yeah. it out because all the sales you see don't come to you until like two months later. So you gotta oh, wait like two months, Stephen, for it to filter in. Like, oh, here you go, here's your cut of it. Um, yeah. But you know, when it did come in, it was really cool and it was an experience. You know, so I, right. I, I definitely recommend it. And, you know, if you got and you know people like you, artists like you, you know, what I'm saying you got something to give to the world. So yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be some. Uh, you know, I, I gotta get with somebody that um, I know. I know I can get with you about it. And it's another, it's a girl. <laughs> she does, uh, she did some kid. Uh, matter of fact, she does kids books. And okay, uh, yeah. I, wish I, I might need to get, I'm gonna get you her information. Maybe you can okay. get her on your, on your, um, cause yeah. I went, I went, I went to high school with her. Okay. So, yeah. you know, maybe you can get, you know, get on, she can get on here and, you know, talk to you about her platform and everything. Yeah. I would love that, dude. Cause I, um, I've got, I gotta reach out cause I met someone. I'm working at now, which I'm not gonna say where I'm working at, but I met someone yeah. uh that she was like a uh because she was in there with her son and she was coming in, she had a family and everything, but she was like talking about how she was like an actual black nerd, man. We were talking about anime, yeah. she was talking about how she was as a school teacher, fought for like mm-hmm. an anime class. It's like, yo, that's dope. So I, I definitely want to bring her on pretty soon yeah. so she can talk. And she was, you know, because it's it's you don't see that in the black community a lot. So I'm no. like, yes, please come on the show, please. You yeah, know? yeah, because um, I mean. You know, these days it's like, you know, whatever you you think couldn't work before. Yeah, it's right. working. You know, and, and, and I, I love that as a black creator, and I know you do too, because now we don't yeah. mom look anymore. It's not just, yeah, a, it's oh like, man, y'all ain't into that shit. It's art. Right. It's like, what the yeah. fuck? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> especially when, you know, you try to do some art and they tell you, people tell, because this is the one thing I used to hate is like, uh, when you're in, you know, we're, especially when we were designing and stuff like that, they'll say, "Well, all you gotta do is just press print." Yeah, no, the fuck no. you do. You do not. <laughs> if you ever go to an artist and tell them all you gotta do is press print, get just, out. You the might well get, either get out, <laughs> get out, or get re- get ready and get slapped. Right, you know, like, man, you know how much work goes with this shit, man. You're, like, you're, Man, yeah. it, they just think you just poop this shit out and then you know you can flush it. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, this is not this this does not work like that. I I you know, so that's the one thing that I love about what we're in right now in this new era. And it's also the downside is that I love that people are consuming things so much and consuming yeah. different things, but that's also the problem. It's like they think that like Okay, well, yeah, I mean, you you can just pump it because you know I tell people that constantly about video games. It's like, yo, video games take years to make. It's not a these companies are pumping out like one and, or two but, like every year. But the That's thing about they it got is, like five thousand people work on this shit. Yeah, like, it's like it's, one it's, person. It's not just one person. It is, Bruh, it's, it's a it, bunch of people working on it. So it's yeah. just like you 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 you're not just doing this. You know, it's not one person can make a whole game. Yeah, and, and, and you know like, what I'm saying. It doesn't happen like they used to tell us. Yeah. That's one thing, you know. Romano used to tell us all the time. It doesn't happen in a vacuum. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're not just sitting up here pressing a button and then, oh, okay, here's this art piece. Like you gotta give that shit time. And so that's why yep. I try to constantly remind people when it comes to like art, video games, which is art to me as well, uh, and just other stuff, man. Our graphic design field, we don't just sit up here. And then even if we can do something in 30 minutes. That yeah. motherfucker still deserves the five hundred dollars he's charging you because it took him years to get to that point where he can make something in thirty minutes. But it doesn't happen that way. Like you know, you can't just go up in here. All right, cool, done. Boom, here you go. Enjoy that. Here's all that emotion and 
Like artwork yeah. and all that takes time. You know, it so takes, you gotta it takes it. a lot of time. If you like it, you gotta, you know, all right, cool. Yeah. If you don't like it, you gotta correct stuff. And so yeah. I, I hope yeah. that changes because yeah, that shit gets on my nerves too, man. Like, cause that yeah. that's what people have told me all the time. Like the game is just like, well, just play it out. You've been working on it forever. It's like do you know what yeah. I have to go through <laughs> just but, to get but, this but, one scene right? You know, what I'm but the thing about it is, you you talking about just put it out there. What if it's you know you don't want the thing? The thing about it is, is like your first, you only get one shot. That's it. That's you know it. What I'm man. Nobody you sets get, out to make a trash video game. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You, like, you only get one shot to make it work. So That's if it. it don't work, you 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 put all your stuff in and you just gave a half ass little thing and then people look at it and be like, no, nah, I'm not interested. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, and you saw like, and you, you you spent years on this shit. Yeah. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's the thing you gotta understand is if I'm not happy with it, I'm, I'm not, not gonna put it out until I, I am happy with it. That- Thank you. you know what I'm I be telling people that all the time, and they're just like, yeah. uh, you know, I'm like, nah, fuck you. Like, yeah. I'm ready. I'll put it out. You know, because like, you, the thing about it is the people that's telling you that are people that know you, that know you've been doing this for a while and been waiting on you to try to get, right, get right. it done. But <laughs> right. this is the thing. You won't, your friends are going to like it regardless because they know how much time you to put into it. You're working on the person that don't know you that this don't care nothing Adam about this shit. Just they say, what just want to see you how this game yeah. looks. And crazy. if it's trash, they're going to tell you it's trash. They're going to throw that shit it, out. Put it in Twitter. Put it on Facebook everywhere. You know it's going to be everywhere. Don't buy this trash. You know what I'm saying? Don't buy it. That's it, man. So. I mean, there's just, I mean, there's just like different movies that come out that are trash. Like, I don't care if anybody else on here don't don't agree. That movie, nope, is trash. <laughs> it's trash. I haven't seen it. I need to go see it. Bro, <laughs> it's, 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 it's pure garbage. It's pure garbage. It's the, it's the, it's the epitome of garbage. The epitome. But they, but you know, because and it, I hate that now in this new era because of certain people, people are like, oh, but they're they're a genius because like I loved, I I didn't love it, but I thought us was cool. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so okay, let, let's 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 talk about this. So <laughs> when they when they came out with uh, what was the first movie he did? What was get the out. first one? Get out. Get out. Mm-hmm. All right, the get out situation. That was cool because nobody had done yep. that. Before. Nobody that had cool. done that. But at the same time, it was relevant to what the shit we was going through at the time. Right, right. You exactly, know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. So that's how it got so popular. Mm-hmm. So the next one was Us, right? Mm-hmm. So Us was kind of still kind of the... Oh, yeah, the, a lot of people did. It was very mixed. Like, I liked yeah, it, but like, yeah. a lot of my friends was like... Oh, but then, this, then he started doing... He started putting the Kanye and started going kind of <laughs> Like this... And, all the way RC40. Yeah, he went too far. He was like, bro, I can understand. It. See, when, when you was doing the first one, you you kind of tiptoed on that shit. You know what I'm saying? You weren't even by the line at that point. But goddamn it, when you went you went to us, you was getting kind of close. Oof. Then, yeah. then when no. you went to what, what was the other one? It was it was one right before no. Oh, uh, he did Candyman. Oh yeah, that was even more. Is right, you, you right. You jump. He, he did candy man, he was jumping on the line at that point. When he did, nope. Oh, that nigga was in the deep end. Dying. Now I'm about to see it because a lot of people are just like they're like up and down. Because, like, one, some of my friends are like, Yo, I loved it. You know, Jordan Peele has another one, and then some of my friends are just like, This shit is trash. I hate it. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm like, my, oh. So, I didn't, I didn't specifically go see it, but uh-huh. I did. I do trust like my sister's opinion on shit. Mm-hmm. It was trash. <laughs> it was trash because I gotta, I gotta see it it's, now, it's, it's, it's a so-called monster in it that you never fucking see. I see. The, I'm gonna tell you. I, look, okay. This this is me. I didn't mm-hmm. see it, and the main reason why I didn't see it is mm-hmm. because when I saw the fucking previews for the shit. When you see a damn car wash green gremlin shit flying back and forth, do you know the little thing that always they try to get people to come to the Yeah. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> well, it's so okay. 
bro, 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 no, 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 bro. It was in every scene yeah. of the the clip. My, that my shit, that shit is not in the desert, dude. I know. Like what? What, what the fuck? We're we're not selling cars in the desert. <laughs> my my thing is, I think this is his. I don't know if you remember the movie Signs with M Night Shyamalan, which M Night Shyamalan's already trash anyway. But like, well, I he he played kind of, off that and was trash. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I feel like this is his Signs because like he's t- it's aliens, but not aliens. It's weird. Like I, that that's all I know. But like, Man. I haven't seen well, it, and, and that everybody everybody's like. It's just been mixed, and that's honestly like I think you're right because I, I, honestly I think the only one that was like overwhelming like everybody liked it was like Get Out, but everything yeah, else here has been like yeah. straight out, like you either like it or you don't like it. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. see, I've I've seen other movies where you know you had, and I can't think of it. This this movie was trash too, but it was a movie that it looked like it had like a Godzilla or something to that effect in the oh, movie. Oh, uh, Cloverfield. That's what you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that shit was yeah. the most epitome of garbage. <laughs> you, know, you, go, you got the whole movie and you don't see movie. it for like, what, like three seconds where the three camera seconds. looks that way at the end and then it's going off and you're just like, okay. Me and my mom went to see that. <laughs> and we both looked at each other like, what the f- because well, you, you know, you know what the problem is. Because that's just like what I got <laughs> mad about with this generation was like, so okay, on the other side of Cloverfield, right? They had that new Godzilla movie, which was off the chain. But then yeah. the critics were complaining. Well, it didn't talk about the human experience, and I'm like, bro, it's a monster movie. I didn't come here for the humans. I came no, here for Godzilla, and yeah. so that's the problem. Because that's what Cloverfield was doing. Cloverfield was like, yo, while this monster shit's going on, here's the human experience. And it's like, bro, we didn't come here for that. I don't give a fuck about these people. Bro, first, first first of all, going, say, going the party all, and everything. The human, like, I don't the, care about that. You know? Yeah, see, first of all, the human experience is not not to be in a racist type of situation. The shit that, that was happening was some white person trying to find the goddamn monster. Black people would have ran the fuck off. <laughs> this, this shit wouldn't have never happened. Look, I, look, I mean, look, it's not, bro, not, we, not, not, not to even be in, like, you know that's a, that's a real deal. That's a real thing. No, no, you know uh, we we were uh, we were. I'll never forget this. We were all at a bowling alley on um, two eighty. Me and my, my homies, and yeah. we were sitting there talking. And you know how the famous theory of you know if a black dude see somebody else running, we start yeah, running. We, we start running. Like, yeah, like a bunch of yeah. us start running towards. We just start like running. Yeah. You know, <laughs> hey, look, we we're not. <laughs> it, it's still, it is simple for us. We I mean, see one person we break out, we go. Right. We went until we got the safety. Like, well, y'all run it. <laughs> you know what what What's going on? <laughs> look, look, all of us are safe regardless of what happened. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not, we're not turning around to go look and see, well, <laughs> hey, that's the shot over there. Let's go that way. You about to die, my boy. I, I see vibrations over there. And fire, you know, let's go over there. He's just like, man. Oh, man. I'm like, no, man. You, you better come with us instead of trying to go that way. I mean, we're trying to live here. We're not trying to die all together. Yeah, like, yeah. So I'm I'm with you on that, on the movies being like that. Because, yeah, Cloverfield, I was so bored. And yeah. I hated that because I'm, I'm a huge Godzilla fan. I love Godzilla. And so when they were saying, what's his name? Um... Ah, oh, what's the guy's name? I the blank on it, but he's been on everything like Lost, all of that. But he's the guy mm-hmm. who did that. I forgot his name. Um, I don't know why I'm blanking. But like when they said he was doing it, I was like, all right, well let's let's see how he he does. Uh, uh Godzilla. Now I don't ever want him to do Godzilla again because I was just like, nah, man. I, I want if I if I'm paying you to see a monster, I want to see a monster. I, I want to see this. a freaking monster in the movie. Oh yeah. no, there there he is, and then that's the end of the movie. Like, what are we doing? You know? Yeah. It- it was it was uh, it was horrible. I was I couldn't believe this. I was like, I, I wasted time to watch this damn movie, and, and it was trash. It was straight trash. So terrible, terrible. Yeah. So. Oh. Well, <laughs> Mr. Clifford, uh, thank you so much again for coming by, man. We're, we're no out problem. of time. I know you got stuff to do, and I got stuff to do. But I just want to tell you, man. Thank you again. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. 
Thank you for finally coming on and speaking. Yeah, with you, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that first that first time we was it was a it was a no, whole it's, it's all, listen, man, it's all good, man. I understand <laughs> people have lives, man. So I just yeah. I appreciate y'all coming on top of man, because y'all are awesome people. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I tell everybody, man, like people we have on, you know, especially when I did this series to help, you know, while Chris is away taking care of the kid. Like, yeah. I, it was just so awesome talking to y'all because y'all are just vibrant people out mm-hmm. here just using your creativity. And I, I think that's so dope. So I was like, yeah, we got hey, to have a so, you know. Hey, hey, hey. In a, in a way, I can help, bro. In a way, I can help. <laughs> and before you go, again, tell the people where they can reach you at, sir. Let them know what's bro. coming out. So you can find me on Facebook. You can it, my my name on Facebook is uh, Henry Brown. My full name is Clifford Henry Brown. Um, <laughs> the uh, um, like I said, I'm on Etsy right now, and it's Henry's Unique Art Corner. That's where you can find find my stuff. Uh, right now, it just has the rugs. It does not have um, the lamps and everything else yet. I've been trying to take pictures, you know, make nice pictures and stuff like that. Put that up. Um, TikTok, Instagram. There are they are Henry, Henry S U A C is what it is. Okay. So it's, it's pretty much each letter of unique art corner. It's, right. It's Henry. Yeah. So. Okay. You can look at, you know, I have TikTok and uh, Instagram and Facebook. So you can look look at those and see most of my work on there. I'll try to try to throw something up there once a week, if not every other day or whatever. When I can get some, you know, content pretty much. Okay. Um, like I said, the web, website is coming. Oh, go okay. ahead. Go ahead. No, I was going to ask a quick question. Are you taking custom work right now? Are you taking yes, custom work? Yes, yes, I was about okay. to get to that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so... I'm, I am doing custom work. I've um, of the rugs. I've done two custom orders. One was for, matter of fact, uh, Derek Curry. You remember him? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he do he do photography right now. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but he had his um his uh his uh his brother. I'm not trying. I'm not gonna go too deep in it because yeah. I mean. It, it, it's something that he has put out there, so it's not mm-hmm. something I'm just saying that you know right. we don't know about or whatever. But uh, his his brother got killed uh, years ago, and they found they just found his body not too long ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I um, he commissioned me to make him some artwork of him and his brother it since it was, it was his first time oh, since his yeah. brother passed. So I did a commission work for him. Okay, um, and I did that's awesome. Yeah, and then I did a rug. It was a shoe. That, uh, you know, I see you seen one of the shoes. I did. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was beautiful, man. Yeah, so uh, I had a girl, a girl messaged me that I know, um, mm-hmm. and she wanted one of the Jordan shoes, and it was she wanted a big one. So I did did that. That's the only two commissions I've done. Okay. Um, okay. So, you know, anybody want a commission? I'll like I said, I'll try to you know whatever picture or whatever you come up with. I'll mm-hmm. try to work on that and get you something that I'll design it out first and then get it approved and then we'll work on it. Um, it normally takes me, just depending on how, <clears throat> like how detailed it is, mm-hmm. if you go to my page where the, the biggie and the, the one that says fresh on it, mm-hmm. that took me almost like three weeks to do each. Okay. Um, most times it only takes me like maybe two weeks. But lately, since I got all this stuff going on, I don't really know. It just depends on how much time I have. So, okay. but whatever person calls me or whatever, met DM me, you know, I can go over it with them. Um, now, as far as the lamps are concerned, um, I do do commissions with them. Mm-hmm. If you have your own bottle that you want, like if it's a keepsake or something like that bottle, Mm-hmm. I do. I, I will take that ball in and do, you know, make a lap out of it. Right, um, right. And just, you know, it'll be pretty much, pretty much uh, uh, labor on that part, you know, okay. that type of thing. Um, <clears throat> as far as the resin stuff, I hadn't done it in a minute because I've been trying to sell them tables. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, uh, Dope tables, know, by the way. Dope tables. Yeah, I appreciate it. But yeah, I'm, um, uh, it just depends on what they, you know a person wants. I can, you know, we can talk about it. I can get something done. Um, okay. cool. Other than that, let's see, drawing. 
I still, I, I, you know, I'm stuck on Dragon Ball Z, so I've been drawing a bunch of them. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, um, I'm waiting on the Turtles to come back out with that new one. Whenever yeah. that comes, yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting on that. You know, I was I was a big Ninja Turtle fan when I was a kid. Man, so, what? Yeah. <laughs> right. As soon as that game came, I snatched that up. I was like, oh, yep, buying that. Yep. Can't wait. Yep. So I'm, you know, I'm waiting on um to see what they're gonna do with that. But you know, like I said, right now I'm just drawing, drawing out stuff. I've been doing more rugs at the moment because I'm more into that right now. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna get off the rugs in a minute and start that drawing and painting. Okay. That's the one. That's the one thing about drawing, though. I can draw. I've been thinking about just drawing out stuff instead mm -hmm. of me painting it. Just mm -hmm. drawing it out and packaging it as like a kid's coloring book type of thing or a coloring page. Yeah. Where all I gotta do is just draw it and outline it. It's still my drawing, but mm -hmm. your you know your kid can either paint it or I you know color or it. color it yeah. or yeah. whatever they want to do with it. So yeah. I'm thinking, I'm still thinking about doing that. So, okay. but uh, other than that, just like I said, it's just been just finding what I'm a niche right now and just going with it. So. Okay, awesome, awesome, <laughs> yeah. good, good. Well, you guys already know where you can find them at, so go holler at them. Great artwork. And again, you guys know where you can find us, the Nerd Play Everywhere. Uh, you know, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Uh, you're even on TikTok and see us nerd play. You know what I'm saying? We we use it. People are starting to say we getting out there, so that's cool. Um, oh. and then you know, we 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 just out here. So this is another great episode again with another great uh special guest. Thank you. Like again. I said, I appreciate it. I, I, like I said, it's been a minute. You know, I, you know, you know me. I try man. to hit you up. You, hey, you be busy. I, I understand. Man, man. Look, look, I, I understand. I'm the worst. It's not even you. I apologize, bro. I know I'm the worst because I'll be up here just like working and doing shit. People be like, "Yo, nigga, do you do anything other than like go home and work?" Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'd be like, "Man, yeah. my bad." So I, I am. I'm gonna start being more of a a, a a person and getting out. You know, hanging out with y'all. Yeah, yeah, once once the game comes out, I feel like that's when you'll be. Oh man, right, right, okay. once, right. once the game comes out, bro, I'm taking like a whole week off, just a week, <laughs> maybe a month, and I'm back on the grind. You know. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got hey, you got to have something to grind for and to grind towards, man. That's it. That's so, it. But um, one thing about it, I will tell you, hey, stop the spell of roses sometime, my boy. You get you I, can't just be in in it oh, all the time, man. You, I, I you know. got you got you got to live. Listen, I'm listening. Because you, you're right, man. Because let me tell you, when I had that COVID, bro, I was just like, yo, I'm dead. Like, I know I'm yeah. dead. Like, this is purgatory. There's white walls everywhere. I'm going to go see what God talked about. This is yeah. Me, man. I, I mean, looking I like back, I was like, man, I really don't get out much, you know. So Yeah, I mean, that's one thing I would say COVID did is, like, it made a lot of people, like, see what was going on. Like, you was working 20, you know, you working all these hours. You know, you you know, and it made you sit your butt down, like yeah. to, to the point where that. you know what I'm saying you start noticing. Okay, I can do more work at home. I can, yeah. you know, and and it's it COVID totally was a gift and a curse. It was. It was a gift, it was. It was a gift and a curse because yeah. now you see like a lot of people don't want to go back to work, which I yeah. get. I would rather be working at home my damn self, but exactly I, the, the job that I do, I have to be at work. Right. You know right. So I have to put in hours at work. But if I can work from home, yeah, man, I can get so much stuff done. Especially my stuff. Yeah. Now, you know what I'm saying? Because I can I I done got to the point now I can design so quickly now, especially when mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing and yep, know what yes. know what I have to get done. I could I could design so quick and have my stuff done in you know a couple of hours and then have enough time the rest of the day to work on my stuff. Yep. So it's exactly. just one of the things, man. If, you know, I, I would say for those who who pretty much work from home, you you are blessed. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Boy, being, being, yeah. being at the shop is hard. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, you know it's what I'm hard. saying? You're, you're in your comfy home. You ain't got to worry about nobody coming over your back, talking to you, talking man, crazy. Yeah, you just put on music and just vibe yeah. out, man. Yeah. just vibe out. You, just, you ain't got to worry about nobody coming in every five minutes. I need this. I need that. Right, bro. Right. You send off a nice little email, and that's it. Yeah, it, man. yeah. that's it. Yeah. Hey, I'm I'm getting to the point, man. I'm like, hey, 
Right. You know, so, you know, like, so, you know, like yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Same. And people, it's, uh, the other thing is it's making me think, you know, I'm talking to, you know, a young lady and, you know, it's, 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 I, I, I feel like it's going to end up going to that next level. Okay. But she, you know, she has children. She got uh, two kids. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, you know, you got to think about, okay, she has kids. I'm single technically. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you looking at like how you going to mesh and gel within that dynamic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not the type that's, that's like, I don't like my woman to make more than me. I really don't care. I don't care if you make right. more than me. You know what I'm saying? Look, listen, but as long as the bills are paid. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, as long as the bills are paid, and you know what I'm saying? We can, we can you know. Wow. That's all. Yeah, I'm going to make it. You know, I'm not, it's not a big thing for me. It's right. just the fact I feel like, you know, if I find, if so happen to go on and find another job, if I make more than her at that point, then, or the same amount as her, it doesn't yeah. even matter. I feel like, Okay, I would say, all right, we gonna what we'll do is, you know, we'll keep working for the next maybe three to five years or whatever, mm-hmm. and we'll just pocket your check, and my check will be what we go off of. That yep. way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, some, once, once we get to that point, vacation. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah and, it, and then at that point, we've had so much stuff put back, and we can figure out like other ways to make money on the side because I've been thinking about doing the digital stuff for uh, Etsy and all that other stuff too. Mm-hmm. So, you know, because digital sales quicker than, you know, you trying to make something. So right. I'm think- I'm still thinking about doing digital work. So, mm-hmm. you know, if I can get that down and get that together, you know, that could be a, a thing. You know, you still got the stock market, even though it's down right now. If anybody knows, you need to be buying right now. You know, right. while everything right. is down, you need to be buying it. Because right. of that, eventually it's gonna shoot back up. It's gonna it, when it does shoot up, it's gonna be crazy. Right. You know it's what I'm saying? Turn around. Yeah. It, you Smart. know what I'm saying? So yeah. So if you know if you're thinking about it now, just go. If you if you've never been into something, I, I don't want to plug no no it, nobody specifically <laughs> out. But uh, it's it is you know a bunch of different crypto places you can go to, different stocks you can get into. All, right. this just, all you just need to do is do your research, but while you got the chance, while everything is down, go ahead and buy into it. Because when it's up, you that's just like when Odell Beckham got his, his instead of getting his money mm-hmm. in uh in when he um was a free you know he wasn't a free agent, but they paid him in crypto. Well, at the time, crypto was at the highest amount it could ever be at the time. Yeah. Why would you get crypto at that that height? You should have right. waited. You should have just told them, "Hey, just give them my money." When, right. when the crypto just, come down, yeah, then I can I can get into it. Right. No, he lost that man lost like eighty million dollars or something like that. It was something to that. It was See, something high. That's that's why I don't even do crypto because it's it's too unstable, man. Like it's too up and down. It's it's a good <laughs> market if you know how to get into it, but it's too. Well, it, it, I would say crypto. I mean, crypto is like any other other stock. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, it, everything, it. everything is gonna go up and down eventually. It's mm-hmm. just the fact that the matter is when you get into it. Is yeah. if you get you, in, if you get buying in at a good time, or yeah. you buying that you know security wave, and then and, cashing out at its highest. You know. Yeah, and see the thing about it is, it's just you. It's just doing your due diligence and not mm-hmm. just thinking. You know, this is the new trend, so let's do it. You know, right. you, you really need to, you know, do your research on, on the companies and stuff like that because if, like, say a company buys out another company, you know the stock finna go up. You know exactly. what I'm saying? That type of thing. So, you know, it's just, you just gotta, you gotta know. Go down, depending on who they buy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, depending on yeah. who they buy. Too. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just the big, nine times out of ten, a, a bigger company is gonna buy out the smaller company. Smaller but, company. But the thing about it is, depending on how the smaller company equity is, it can put it can boot up. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, absolutely. but it's just it's just one of the things you you you. These days we have to be more more um, literate to and cognizant like, of what's going yeah, on. Yeah, you know? yeah, what's going on in the world right now. It's, I mean, it, everybody can make money right by now. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, just you just gotta have. 
that niche to get it. You know what I'm saying? A so, discipline to yeah, go out there. Yeah, it's crazy, man. yeah, the consistency is like I said, that that consistency is my biggest thing. And I I'm, I'm trying. Oh <laughs> uh, man, because I mean oh, I, and uh, you and you know this is like yo, this that this pretty much is a side hustle that is 24 7. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. and to be trying to be as consistent as you can in it, it is hard to be that when you don't want to do the shit. <laughs> you know yes. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you 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 wanted to profit. You know you want to profit from it, but you mm-hmm. don't want it to feel like it's a job, though. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. And when like, it starts feeling like it's a job, you don't want to do it. And when when you want don't want to do it, it's like. And that's the hardest thing for us because right now you have to have something to help you or that makes you money while you're not like yeah. doing anything. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because like times are so crazy right now that like. Just working a nine to five is not it. It's not enough. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not. Man, I, look, I've been thinking about getting a second job. Right, you know, yeah, just to be like, you know, I got yeah. to get me, you know, yeah. Yeah, just to make, I mean, because, I mean, I, I know you got, you know, you you international. You can go, you know, your stuff is all over the states <laughs> and, you know, international. I, I, look, 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 I pray, yeah. I, look, I pray yeah. that, I pray that for you. I'm going to put that out of the for <laughs> you. But, I, but, you. but you got but you gotta think about it, man. This this we're in Alabama. Yep. The thing about Alabama is the government type of people here, some of them are old and don't want us to to prosper forward. These they want us to stay they 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 want us to stay where we at. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I, the pro, the cost of living has gone up and go ten times more, but our paychecks look like we're still in the Stone Age. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Paychecks ain't so, going up. In fact, yeah, they're going yeah, negative. They yeah, like, oh, yeah, we're yeah, gonna take yeah, more yeah, taxes yeah, out. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. You know, bro, it's bro, it's like you, we got the highest tax. I believe we got the highest tax in the freaking United States because it don't make no freaking sense. How how we got the big like how's our tax Taxes is higher than California, you know what I'm saying, and stuff now, like that. Now, and California is even getting up to where they're they're getting higher taxes now. Their stuff is taxed now. The groceries just should have taxed, and it used to not be. And I'm like, yeah. I'm sorry, it, I know yeah. it hurts. <laughs> yeah, because you know, it's it's just the fact that everything is starting to, you know, with COVID, fucked up everything. You know what I'm saying? The whole the whole inflation, everything, it just messed up everything. And now, you know. You see a lot of people talking about you need to plant your own gardens and do all this. You know, it's like, yeah, it's like, bro, it's it's a lot of stuff that we could have been doing a long time ago. But that, we, or you know, just when you have the time now, because everything, because you're not at your job, they want you to do everybody else's job, like eight jobs yeah. at one. So, yeah. yeah, man, yeah. bro, it's, man, look, I'm, I, man, you you go to work now, it's like you do fifteen people, different people job, and they still want to pay you that one that one exactly. salary. Like, nah, one nah. Salary. like, hey, like, like I want to get paid for each one I did. You know what I'm saying? Put put that money in my head. You come on for real. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. It's like, man, I, I'm. It, it, that's the thing. I didn't. I I know God got more than just you go to work and go home. You know what I'm saying? All right. And, and whoever came up with this two day weekend shit is ridiculous. Bro, you look, man. You go out to party Friday night. You go, you go, you go out Saturday. Mm-hmm. You then Sunday, you looking at yourself like, man, I gotta get work, get ready yeah, for work. Get ready for work. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But I, I've heard some certain places starting to think about doing a three day uh work on work four days. So yeah, and and we've talked about that at work a lot, and we've talked about just like how much or how much better. Um, production and potency like company would be and productivity would be if we did have that because like you really and truly if you're just like even if like because a lot of places have that now like one job that i worked had that to where like you could do four days but they were 10 hour days and i was like hell no i don't want to do 10 hours at this place but you Mm -hmm. get three days off and that's cool but like at the same token a lot of these companies now, they're making enough money to where they can just like, okay, yeah, we can just give you that off day. You can yeah. just work 30, what was that, 35 hours? Like, we're totally okay with just working 35 hours and then give you three off days. You know what I'm saying? They can see, do that. And, and see, I can, like, literally, if I get 
this is my thing. This is how I, this is how I work it. I normally get up technically around five thirty. Mm-hmm. I don't really have to be to work about like seven thirty ish. Mm-hmm. But if I get to work at six and leave at four, that's ten hours. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Easy. Yeah. And I'm, I'm leaving directly at four o'clock. Um, you know, and I ain't got to worry about it because that's my ten hours. Because I got up early enough when I'm not yeah, even thinking that. about it. You know right. what I'm saying? Then when you start thinking about it is when you you get up, you get there by seven thirty, and then you have to leave at six. Right, right. Or, or night owls like myself, like, oh no, can't be early morning. You creep, <laughs> yeah, he's just like, yeah. So, you know, I'm you know, I didn't, I didn't did all types of owls before, so it's like I'm used to it now, but right. it's just one of them things where you just everything right now is just, yeah, you gotta <laughs> do like, what you can, man, because you gotta do what you can. It's rough out here, man. Yeah, it's yeah. one of the things. Man. That's why side <laughs> side hustles and all this other stuff is coming up, coming about. As long it, as you're man. doing it, like long, long as you're doing it legit, just, hey, do get your money, man. Chase it, man. Chase your dreams, man. That's yeah. what's Chase your dreams and live them, man. Chase your dreams and live them. Look, I re- <laughs> look, look, look. I'd rather do a side hustle than me hustling for real and be out here. Right, yeah. you look, know what I'm saying. Man. Throwing, yeah, throwing, I, throwing rocks at the penitentiary is my yeah. I ain't got, I ain't got, I ain't got time can't for all that. Can't be doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I got, I got, no, I got, I got my sister and my mama and, and my girl right now. Hey, I, I got me. too, I got too much to lose. That's it, man. You got too yeah. much to lose. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. You know, well, yeah. listen again, man. Thank you, Clifford, for coming through, man. I appreciate it. We're going to sign off this time, y'all. I'm Rockman 3K3, and this has been. <laughs> Nerve Plate. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. Who are you before I sign off Nerve Plate, cuz? Oh, shoot. This is Henry. This is Clifford. This is Clifford Henry, if you want to go ahead for it. <laughs> y'all, we out. This has been another great episode of the Nerve Plate. I'll see you later. Thank you. <laughs>